what do the British public think of political correctness? We asked people this question. Are you politically correct? No, I'm not politically correct. I try to be, but it's really hard. I mean, people get offended if you open doors for them, things like that. Sometimes it just gets silly. I never use politically correct language. I always say chairman, not chairperson, and I always say Mrs or Miss, not Ms. So I'm not politically correct. What do people think about politically correct language? I think that politically correct language is actually a very good thing most of the time. I think that using chairperson and not chairman is a question of respect for women. And I think that people that don't like politically correct language have the problem. We're going to hear now from a man who has written a book on this subject. Yes, and while you listen, see if you can spot the meaning of these politically correct expressions. Horizontally challenged. Con un reto horizontal. And financially disadvantaged. Económicamente poco aventajado. These are both politically correct expressions. What are the plain, old-fashioned, politically incorrect English words? So I have to say I'm very confused mm. about it all, but there is now a dictionary available that tells us how you can tell someone in the most correct terms that they are, what, horizontally challenged? Fat. Or financially disadvantaged? Broke. Uh, and <laughs> 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 I love it. <laughs> uh, here's the man anyway, who's written that book. He's Nigel Rees. Hello. Good morning. Why Hi. did you write it? Ah, because I'm interested in language. And the thing about politically correct language is that it's watering the language down. It's replacing good old fate straightforward, descriptive words and terms with rather vague ones. So pretend. why does it happen? Um, the reason behind the politically correct movement is that uh, we live in a plural society made up of many races. We are, we are all minorities of one sort or another. And the, the basic aim of political correctness, I think, is a good one. Uh, it is that we should think about how we talk to people and how we describe people. The trouble is that uh, introducing these new terms uh, not only waters down the language, um, some of them are plainly absurd, aren't they? That's Actually. it. Uh, it's gone too far. Uh, and the, some of these suggestions are balmy. And the thing is that you can never actually tell people to change the way they speak. Did you hear those expressions? Horizontally challenged is fat. And financially disadvantaged is broke, arruinado. No one really uses these words, you only hear them in jokes.